Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Force here with an announcement video for you. I wanted to let you guys know that there was a major change announced to the rune system in Diablo 3. I want to give you guys a little bit of insight on it and let you know how it's going to work in its current iteration. Now initially what we had what was known as rune stones, and rune stones would drop just like items within the game. There were five different types and seven different levels. So you'd be going along, killing enemies, and you'd find rune stones that would drop, and you'd put these into your skills. And then depending on which rune stone you used, it would change, it would alter the way your basic skill worked. Well, those have been completely removed. There are no longer rune stones in the game that will drop. Instead, in their place, we have got what is known as skill runes. Now skill runes, just like skills, will unlock for you as you level. So currently you level up and you unlock your skills. Well in addition to unlocking your skills, you will also unlock skill runes for those skills to change how they work. For example, taking a look at the Demon Hunters Impale, as you level up you will unlock the following skill runes. Impact, Chemical Burn, Grievous Wounds, Overpenetration, and Awareness. Now just like with the runestone system, you can only have one skill rune per skill at any given time. What this does is it makes for a diversity between characters playing the same class. You know, if I've got a demon hunter and I'm using an impale and I want the impact alteration to the ability, that's obviously going to be different from someone who's also using impale but using one of the other four skill runes for that ability. So this is where the, the kind of character customization is going to come in the game. Now it's obviously going to be uh, upsetting to some people the fact that they've removed rune stones and subsequently taken away the itemization that came with it. Uh, in the past, if you wanted a desired effect for an ability, you had to go out and hunt for it. Like if I wanted a crimson rune on my barbarian's leap attack, and I obviously want the highest level, which would be a level 7, because there would be level 1 through 7 Crimson Rune. I had to search for it, and it, it was going to take, in the, in the prior form, it would take a significant amount of time to actually eventually acquire that item. It was supposed to be the, this big, big time investment. And now, that is no longer there. And I can certainly understand that how some people are going to be upset about it, and I would be interested to see and hear your opinions on this below. So feel free to let me know what you think about this change. But with the current form, there are no levels. The skill runes have their base effectiveness, and that is it. You don't have to search for the, the impale impact skill rune level 7. Instead, you have your impact ability for your impale, and you just use it, and it stays that way. Again, it is a pretty major change. I will be doing some coverage of this. Skill runes will start at level 6, and given that the beta allows you to go to level 13, that means that we will have access to some of it. So stay tuned within the coming days as I will make sure that I have some coverage on the skill rune system as to everything we have access to currently in the beta. All right, guys, that's about it. Uh, major, major changes to the rune system. Rune stones have been removed. We now have skill runes that unlock while we level up. There's an official article over on Diablo3.com. If you want to read that, please feel free. Otherwise, stay tuned in the coming days for some coverage from me on the skill rune system. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening to this announcement, and I cannot wait to bring you some more Diablo3 content.